Hi, in this video I want to explain sex determination in asparagus. Asparagus is dioecious plant and this means that it has two kinds of flowers, um, female flowers and male flowers that is uh, present on the uh, different kinds of plants. So one plant uh, have uh, say uh, only male flowers um, and another kind of uh, flower has only female flowers and um, so in so only uh, flowers uh, pollen that is uh, present on the uh, male flower uh, uh, can pollinate uh, f flowers on the female flower and um, sex is determined by um, dominant uh, variant of the gene if it is present in heterozygous form um, let's say for example um, a, a small and A capital um, it is uh, male and if it is um, double um, homozygous uh, recessive, like two small a's, it means female. On the next slide, I will present you a problem and then uh, will help you with solution. Here is a problem. What would be a percentage of females if female plant was crossed with homozygous male plant? Um, is it um, 25, 50, 75 or 0 females would be if we cross um, a female plant with homozygous male plant? So just take uh, 20 seconds to think about it and then I will give you explanation. So the correct answer is D. Uh, here is a simple uh, Mendelian uh, trait that can be explained with a Punnett square. Um, as I told you earlier, that female plant is homozygous uh, recessive and male plant uh, in this case is a homozygous dominant. So this is two capital A's and this is male and this row is female. So what we get here, this would be A small and A capital, A small A capital and all would be the same and A small and A capital is heterozygous and all heterozygous plants are male. So all 100% of such a cross would be um, male plants that is uh, heterozygous. So um, the question was what would be percentage of females? So the correct answer as I said D because there wouldn't be any females at all. So um, actually uh, when I was preparing this question uh, I asked it myself why how this homozygous um, uh, male plant uh, may arise when we have a female plant that is uh, homozygous recessive and male plant that is homozygous uh, heterozygous or whenever however we cross them we couldn't get uh, uh, homozygous and uh, dominant plant that is uh, super male and um, I made a research on the internet and I find that um, 
Actually, um, sometimes um, perfect flower happens on this uh, dioecious plant, so uh, such plant um, would have uh, stamens that is uh, male structure that bear um, uh, pollen and it also have stigma. Actually, um, uh, this called perfect flower because it has a female and male structures uh, in one plant or uh, in one uh, um, flower. Um, so uh, actually when flower develops on uh, such a uh, plant it uh, aborts uh, one of the structure like uh, if it aborts a female structure it becomes male uh, flower or it can abort uh, during its early development stage uh, male structures and it becomes uh, uh, female flower but in about uh, 1000 one plant in 1000 uh, may develop both structures and this is going to be perfect flower and if it is uh, whether self uh, pollinated or pollinated from the um, other uh, male plant such uh, such a plant would be capital A small a and this is going to be female and it's pollinated by uh, heterozygous male and here what we'll get we'll have uh, homozygous uh, plant that is uh, both capital A's and this is male here we will have uh, heterozygous male in this square we also have heterozygous male and here we will have uh, homozygous uh, female so we will have 3 to 1 ratio of uh, male to one female plants so two of this would be heterozygous male one would be homozygous male and one would be um, homozygous female um, thank you for your attention this is all for today goodbye and please subscribe to my channel